Thank you, University of the Philippines Open University, for organizing this conference with the theme, Reimagining Education Futures. It is an honor to be sharing with fellow educators and practitioners the best practices of the Don Mariano Marcos Memorial State University as we move forward to the new normal. DIMSU is one of the top 1,000 universities in the Philippines, created on January 15, 1981, by virtue of Presidential Decree 1778 to cater to the aspirations of the people. The university has three major campuses, namely the South Lonyan Campus in Agoo, Santo Tomas, and Rosario La Union, and the Mid La Union Campus in the city of San Fernando, La Union, and the North La Union Campus in Bacnotan, La Union. It also has an open university system situated at the heart of the city of San Fernando, La Union. DIMSU is ISO certified and has been accredited by the Bureau of Emigration to accept foreign students with AAFS number 06-154. DIMSU embraces world-class standards with its vision of becoming a globally competitive university by continuously providing high quality services in instruction, research, and extension, thereby leading to its philosophy of total human development with appropriate competencies and a goal of transforming human resources into productive, self-reliant citizens and responsible leaders. The university has been delivering distance education through its open university system to students anywhere in the world for 26 years now. It offers baccalaureate, certificate, and graduate programs. OUS makes it possible for education to be accessible and flexible to diverse learners, designing and customizing learning needs, helping learners reach their goals while working and providing innovative ways of learning. The COVID-19 pandemic created uncertainties, challenges, and interruptions in the lives of students. It disrupted their normal routines, causing greater adjustments and emotional issues. The school, which is originally a place of building connections and relationships and a venue for expression, suddenly shifted into a modified structure. The learning platform changed from face-to-face -face learning to pure distance learning, adding more challenges in the life of students. The unpreparedness of learners in the new normal further widens the achievement gap. Relative to this, our university uninterruptedly brings services to clients and stakeholders. New learning platforms are adapted and created to address the needs of learners during the pandemic. Facility-wise, classrooms are transformed with cubicles which are COVID-19 responsive. Safety and protec protection protocols are likewise strengthened. This is in compliance with the issuances of the Commission on Higher Education to implement flexible learning to ensure that no student is left behind during this pandemic. To provide a quality environment and to ensure quality processes, DIMSU continues to build state-of-the-art infrastructure projects equipped with cutting-edge tools, equipment, and machineries. In fact, 
Dimsu is already gearing towards becoming a smart university with a smart campus project 10G Ready Campus Area Network. Likewise, to establish a highly functional information technology system, the Dimsu Management Information System work with all of its MIS campus units at the NLUC, MLUC, SLUC, and OUS, as well as other operating units such as the SRDI, NARTD, and DPERF to develop the Information Systems Strategic Plan 2021 to 2023. This strategy outlines an optimized ICT operating environment and work programs to support the delivery of innovative strategic intentions of the institution to provide faster and better services for its clientele. What are the strategies our university has adopted for flexible learning delivery? Our teachers have been capacitated with additional trainings in the delivery of flexible learning using hybrid approach, the synchronous and asynchronous. The university adapted a free web service developed by Google, an easy tool to help teachers and tutors manage their classes effectively and efficiently. All of them use Google Classroom in their respective subjects. Students connect with their teachers or tutors and access their lessons from school, from office, at home, or anywhere they are where they have internet access. Continuity of instructional delivery has been possible by a Google Meet. Monitoring the progress of students and checking outputs are also made easy. The Commission on Higher Education provided funds for faculty development programs to widen their teaching competencies during these trying times. The different campuses implemented various trainings like Google Classroom, Content Development, Basic Occupation Education, Human Resource Development, Workplace Diversity, Gender Diversity, and Social Inclusion, as well as Virtual Customer Service and the like. The role of student affairs and services is crucial in these trying times. The Commission on Higher Education imposes Memorandum Order No. 9, Series of 2013, on the enhanced policies and guidelines for student affairs and services with supplements such as guidelines on the implementation of flexible delivery of student affairs and services during the COVID-19 pandemic. This also complements JET guidelines on the implementation of flexible learning, wherein student support services are mentioned as one of the components of learning continuity plan of HEIs. The university responded and crafted a platform to deliver student services with a live program like library on air which serves as an avenue for various topics this is aired live via facebook and 97.1 dcag radio Pilipinas. at the open university system we have e open u e school which is also streamed live via the official facebook page of dimsu the e open u e school Episode center on the following, student welfare services, student development, institutional student programs and services, spiritual, health and wellness, student rights and safety. This has constant, consistently gained thousands of views from our students, university personnel, the whole school community, and communities outside Dimsu. 
To support flexible learning, the library had to adapt and provide library services suitable to the new normal environment. One of the objectives of the library is to support the flexible learning methodologies in the new normal environment. Hence, several platforms were developed. The online services of the library allow the students and other users to make the library usable during the pandemic through the Ask Dimsu Online Reference Assistant or Ask Dorla. Since face-to-face -face interaction is limited, Ask Dorla serves as the library's frontliner to assist library users with their information needs. Dorla is designed to reach out, entertain, and answer all of her clients' queries. The OPAC or the Online Public Access Catalog, on the other hand, is used to search for titles of books and other materials that are in the DIMSU libraries through the web anytime and anywhere. The library is equipped with electronic resources. These are collections of downloaded full-text electronic books and journals that support the curricular offerings of the university. It also includes digitized theses and dissertations. The university also developed a Google application called eLibrary for Students. It is a downloadable application exclusive for our students where they can access their learning packages or their modules anytime, anywhere. With the e-library, studying anytime, anywhere has become possible. The Life Coach on Air is another segment under the eOpenU eSchool. This was recently launched to serve as the e-counseling service of the university. It is strengthened with focus on health and wellness. Specialists from the university dubbed as registered life coaches manage the said episode, which is live streamed every last Thursday of the month. This episode provides comfort, support, and intervention strategies on coping and surviving life's diverse challenges. Our university implements a modular approach in teaching and learning. Shipment of modules became a challenge when a lot of countries worldwide suspended shipping. Our publication unit started digitizing all the modules. MIS created an application called eLibrary where all the digitized learning materials are uploaded. In this way, a student can access the materials anytime, anywhere. Our extension services, the face-to-face -face approach is converted into mass media platforms such as live streaming and radio broadcasting. It launched a live stream radio program dubbed as Kapihan Sadimsu over 97.1 DCAG Radio Pilipinas and through the official Facebook pages of DIMSU and DCAG regularly. Public communication became the key to keeping DIMSU's stakeholders informed, trained, and rehabilitated. The Kapihan sa DIMSU up to this date has already run 62 episodes covering governance, security, and safety, livelihood, health, and wellness, and information technology with 1,000 views. The university's distance learning and Edu Media Hub was funded by the Commission on Higher Education, bringing technology-based learning materials and designing better communication so that learners can make a difference in the teaching learning process. The impact 
of this global learning crisis to students is huge. The challenge being posed for all educators is to create challenges, adapt to digital literacy, and learn from experiences and best practices of universities. In this way, we can assure our students our commitment and dedication to continue teaching and impacting their lives. Thank you, everyone. Maraming salamat at mabuhay.